We're over here. Just uh, don't go over there. <laughs> <laughs> New chairs, new location. Squeaking. Okay. All right. It is 6.02. We'll call this September 12th Village Board meetings order. Let's start with the roll call. Aylesworth. Goodman. Ferguson. Yes. Bird. Here. Cots. Here. Machoon. Here. Brad. Here. Uh, we do have a quorum of five to seven. So then we'll move on to the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, I think I might have forgotten that to start. I was, I was testing you or anything. <laughs> <laughs> you were Sorry. supposed to remind me I that. Failed. I failed. Okay. Just give me a minute. I'm just going to start the Zoom. Smartphone connected. Recording in progress. Okay. I believe we're good there. Uh, number four on the agenda. Certify open meeting law requirements have been met. Notice of the meeting and the agenda was posted in all three public places and the newspapers were notified. All right, thank you. Motion to adopt the agenda. All right, on the number second. five, motion and second to adopt the agenda. Any comments or questions there? None. All in favor, adopt an agenda as uh, written. Say aye. 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 Will opposed nay? Ayes have it. Motion passes. Okay. Uh, number six, recognition of visitors as citizen input. Uh, this is anybody that from that wants to speak on anything. Uh, if if there's a topic that come is coming up, the board may ask you to speak on it anyway. But if you want to speak on anything else or want to speak on that topic or early, you, you're welcome to do so now. I All right. Had, I had one. Up you had a citizen. Yes. Input. Okay. Oh boy, I'm hitting the wrong button here. Um, just a question about uh, fencing. Um, and I just literally got it before I came here, so I didn't forward it on to um, people. But just wondering uh, the, if the neighbors uh, fencing require if this met the requirements and if they had a permit for it. Um, I don't know if you want me to pass it around. I just got it. So I had some questions about What's the address on it. That's 709, uh, I think I want to say 709 White. White Street. Okay, somebody sent this to you. Yeah. yeah, we'll pass this over to Jared. He's our zoning administrator. Thank you. There has been a rash of fencing uh, permits come. We've got more fencing permits in the last like three weeks than I've had the rest okay. of the time I've been here. So when well, it looks like diggers showed up, so I would assume that the village was aware of it if diggers hotline would come through. But some seven oh nine White Street or something like that. South so. White? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Into Any, it like right. that. It's the little white house that just sold. It's, the the duplex. Duplex. it's the duplex. Duplex. Maybe it wasn't White Street. That's what they Yeah that is White Street. Is it okay? Is it, yeah. It's yeah. in the back. Any I don't, other? I don't know if there's a permit for that. I'll double check. I don't know if there's a permit, but it's not a property line fence, and it's under the height requirement, and it means they just didn't know because the poles that are sticking up, like beyond. I, yeah, I'll, I'll I'll look into it, but there's probably a permit issue, but probably not a what's actually there an issue. Yeah. Well, there's a football field. Anything else for yeah. correspondence? Yeah. Yep. Any citizen input? Renee, you didn't have anything either. Oh, yeah, there is more that was in the packet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was the, it's in a letter in the packet. So, yeah. Is this the same person that had sent? Or, yeah, okay. and I did yeah. talk to that person. Good. Russell. Okay, we'll move on. Uh, number seven, approval minutes. Hopefully, you had some time to look at these. So, that's great. Any 
Anybody have any comments or questions on the minutes? Again, there's some of these that are maybe not this group, like this, the plan commission. Um, we can look at their minutes and approve them as written, but if we want them to change anything, that's got to go back to them at some point in time. Right. If we would like to modify it, because that's that's not really our group. But well, I read them, but I uh, wasn't in the meeting, so I don't know. Mm -hmm. I can't really. Yeah, I'm just clarifying. So that's mm -hmm. always kind of one of those things that mm -hmm. maybe has a little bit of confusion to it. I make a motion that we approve all the minutes that are in the packet in block from the different committees and boards. And I will second that. All right, there's a motion to second. The board has a motion on the table. Any comments or questions? All right, seeing none, all in favor of approving minutes as written, say aye. 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 All opposed, nay. Ayes have it. Okay, on to number eight then, financial report. I did get the last minute bills entered and so I updated the financial as well. So the one on your packet now you're seeing is color coded. Several items to point out this month. In August, I did get the journal entry for the property tax equivalent water done. So you're gonna see that showing up. We also received the quarterly ambulance recovery charge and the insurance premium refund journal entry was done as well as when you turn to the next page um, in the insurance category, you're gonna see that both workers comp change and property. And so they do an audit for the workers comp and send an adjustment. So that's what's happening there. That's then, yearly, right? Yeah. yeah. And then the property insurance I got that journal entry done. One of the things to note, like you'll notice that the workers comp for in the general fund category, you're gonna, or general government category, you're gonna see it in all the different departments. But in particular, the general government, you'll see that it made it go over budget. And then I'm pointing out to you, that's why we have the contingency, because we don't know what it's gonna be mm -hmm. after they do the audit. You know, we have, we prepare for that because we know it happens every year. And then you'll notice that we had the election wages in August and continuing on towards the bottom of the page, you're gonna see the squad's miscellaneous alternating expense. The $1,019 uh, that was repairing one of the squads, it was the charger. It was the charger, it was the cooling fans. To change. When are we up for a new? That depends. According to the old version, we would have already replaced it, but we're stretching mm -hmm. those. We were replacing them um, more regularly than I felt comfortable with. Are we considering something other than a charger? Yeah, uh, we actually had originally put in a before our previous chief left. Um, we'd actually ordered a uh, charger, and. Uh, we canceled the order on that, said we'll wait a year or two and buy the vehicle they wanted as opposed to another charger. We've had a lot of really bad luck with those as far as I'm concerned. That was everything I had to point out. Are there any other questions? Sorry to answer your question. 2024 is when we're currently slated. Okay. In a related question, our charger is paid off. Yeah. So. 2024 is a new vehicle. Theoretically. <laughs> Any that would come? be the charger. We would continue to own the charger and it would be the 2014 expedition. The charger would be back up. When you get to that many hours, cooling fans like that would be a high failure rate anyway. So, yeah. Okay, let's stick with the, the budget comparison financial report. Kind of good. Moving on that, if anybody have any questions for Renee on that? Uh, that that payoff amount, that 593, will that stay on there? Will that come off? 
It okay. will stay on there, and I'm really glad that you said that because you'll note when you get to the very bottom, I finally got that fixed. I finally got the first. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. The five ninety-four thousand yeah. or whatever. Yeah. The five ninety-three will stay on there unless the auditors move it, but it'll stay on there for okay. the end of the year. Okay. For us. Any other questions or comments on that? Otherwise, we'd just be looking for a motion and a second. Motion to approve the <coughs> budget comparison port, port second. as oh, sorry. as read. A motion and a second to approve those port as it. Any comments or questions? All right, do roll call vote. We need to pop. Ferguson. Yes. Heard. Yes. Cox. Yes. Mitchell. Yes. Rack. Yes. All right. Yes, let's have it. All right. Motion passes. Mm -hmm. uh, we're on to approval of the bills. So, uh, as I told you before, I have the last minute ones actually entered. I'm not telling them to you separately. They are actually entered now. Mm -hmm. I did put a line across so you could see which ones you saw originally and which ones are added as extra. So the ones in the box are extra and then there's just two on the last page that are extra. This does include the contractor's pay request for the Keller Park ball field. So that's several of the items, but otherwise I'll, I've already spoke about the Dodge Charger repair from Augusta Tire and Auto. Mm -hmm. You will see it, the next one that I've highlighted is 26650, 26650, and it's for $650, and that is our first bill for the rate increase, the PSC charges for that. I'm sure there will be another one. I think they bill monthly, so that's the first bill we're seeing. Then you'll see there's a couple bills from strikers that are paid for by the grant. Just like to point them out to you. And then you will see the several different ones that are for the Keller Park ball field. Mm -hmm. We also had heirs and associates for the dam inspection, the chip seal. We'll see another one of those. That's only half. Okay. And the chip seal for victory. It's for liberty. Mm -hmm. It's Liberty. It's oh. Liberty, not Victory. It's Liberty. It is Liberty. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> and we'll see another quarter of that and as well. well. Yeah, and it's in your report as yeah. Victory that needs to be changed to Liberty. <laughs> Did I write it in there? <laughs> yeah. But you can do <laughs> Victory if you'd like. <laughs> that makes sense. Of mm. course it's not Victory. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, I will fix that Sorry, on mine. And, uh, and then another one I wanted to point out was the Summit Fire Protection. So Fred Strasberg brought this bill in. It had been billed to the Lions Club, and because of the new agreement, the village is now responsible for that. And so those are the items. Okay, any comments or questions for? Motion to pay the bills. Second motion to pay the bills, or was it? Yeah, he made the motion. You want a second? Motion and second to pay the bills. Board has that motion now. Um, Renee on the, and Jared, I guess maybe on this on the Keller Park, we were talking about kind of an itemized list or a budget category for that. Where are we going to see that? So you'll see in the pay request, you'll see the breakdown of where it's coming from versus village fund, like kind versus. Um, Foundation, so you'll see that in the pay request. Okay. And I believe uh, Matt's here to speak on that. Yeah. Um, yes. But what we're actually okay. going to do from for Loris is move it into work in progress. So um, it's just a different way of tracking it. It won't be necessarily being assigned to the park. We'll put it into work in progress, and then when it's done, we'll capitalize it. Okay. Right. So I just wanted to reiterate that. Yeah. We wanted but, that but, so then we'll see. Work. This is we budgeted seventy thousand, and this is what we spent so far. Yeah. So we'll we'll get to it in a second. But yeah. yeah. Okay. Sounds good. That's the only okay. thing we're putting in there, right? So, is that the only thing we're putting in there? In the work in progress, like? You can do work, work in progress is just a way you uh, categorize um, expenses in Polaris when you're working on a McKinley. It doesn't matter what the capital project is. If you're taking multiple draws, you don't want to put it into your operational budget. And when it's all said and done, you're going to put it in, it's going to be paid for out of capital and you're going to capitalize it. Um, it's just the way we're going to track it. But you'll know what. Okay. Yeah. But we're tracking it in the 
two six six seven six right now. Yeah, but it'll go to work in progress. Yeah. Okay. All right. Anything else? Okay. All right. Roll call vote. Uh, bills, please. Ferguson. Yes. Heard. Yes. Cox. Yes. Matulin. Yes. Rapp. Yes. All right, on to number 10 on the agenda is the administrator report. Um, as we talked about, and it turns 100% right, I've written victory and it's liberty. Sorry for that. But it's three fourths way done. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. Um, there was just plain and simply a mess up on uh, Monarch's, uh, or Farner, I should say, it's not Monarch. Um, the, they bid the entire road, they brought enough material for the entire road. We marked no parking on the entire road. Um, however, when the crew was there, they hit Randall and picked up the truck and went home. Um, so John uh, was very, very apologetic. Um, we got an additional year on our warranty, uh, and our rate will obviously uh, be carried into next year. Oh, sorry. And they couldn't come back because that's the last emulsion mix. There's hot oil versus emulsion. That was the last load of emulsion the batch plant had done that year, and they switched and they quit doing emulsion mix. That was their last load, so they couldn't even come back tomorrow. And they sent back enough to have done it. They had the material on the truck, and they sent it back. Uh, anyways, it was just pure and simply a mess up on their part. There was okay. there was no if and or buts about it. It was just a mess up. Um, so they'll be back in the spring to finish it, do the portion uh, south of Randall Road, um, but. We intended to spend a little bit more money on that project and have it all on the same. Anyways, it, it's just not there. But I am happy to have another year uh, of extended warranty on the stuff we did just get. Um, we've spent a lot of time on budget and PSC this last uh, month. I think we're getting there on PSC, and honestly, um, I'm cautiously optimistic about budget. I've been fairly um, down in the dumps on it. But honestly, I've just been nervous, but I'm cautiously optimistic right now that we're going to uh, we're going to be close on it. I mean, I, we're still waiting on some big numbers um, from the state. We, some of those are mid-September and some of them are in September, you know, uh, transportation aid and shared revenue and there's we now know I think we're going to we know what our tax levy is going to be. We, the pieces are coming in. We're get we've got our health insurance. We're getting closer. Um, but I'm cautiously optimistic. Um, I was except this is not wood. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, okay. Uh, Farner and Liberty, the corrections on the report. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, Monarch, is Monarch is the parent company, so oh, Mon okay. That's, Mo okay. Monarch is fine, but That's it, fine. but it is Liberty, it is Liberty. not Victory. You're a hundred percent right. Um, Renee has been uh, very busy helping with both of those. Um, we did an updated wage study, um, stuff for the PSE, and just plain trying to get all the journal entries, trying to get all of our insurance stuff. Renee has been very, very busy over the last month. Um, the library, uh, I'm not going to read it through, but they're they're doing really well. You can see they've got some new shelves that weigh a ton, in case anybody wants to just lift those up. Um, That's awesome. Yeah, uh, Memorial uh, is getting new shelves, so we're getting new to us shelves. Nice. At a That's great. Pretty nice rate. Um, the police department is busy as ever. I don't know if you've noticed the number of calls yeah. now than what we had this time last year, but we're, we've had over a hundred more incidents recorded. Now I'm not saying that we've, our police has necessarily done more or less, um, cause they have, you know, it goes back and forth. They are however tracking and documenting it really well. I don't know, um, I don't know how involved our previous chief was about, you know, yes, I'm, I'm calling a case number for this and I'm not calling a case number for that. I'm honestly hoping that some of those things uh, Chad just took care of and didn't assign a case number because if so, because if that's not the case, we've had a huge uptick in the amount of uh, stuff our police department is taking care of. I'm hoping just as far as when you look at numbers and comparing, uh, we have a hundred more calls in August than we had all of last year. We're, we're way up on our call volume. So, um, the, no, not a hundred calls in August for the year. We have we have a hundred more in August than we had all. So when from you get, January yeah, to August. Janu total. January to August. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Jan yeah, we've got fifty one cases in this past month total. Um, but yes, I, I apologize. 
Um, we've got a new off part-time officer that has come on. Uh, I think he's off probation, or not probation, he's out of field training. Uh, he's got a long time left on probation, but he's off of field training this uh, week. Um, he came to us from Augusta. He's, he spent some time as an officer, so we're, we're pretty excited about him. Uh, public Works has been a little bit of same old, same old. Um, we've been very, very busy trying to get stuff um, taken care of. Um, there's obviously always more things that can be done but we've been doing a really good job um, and I, I just can't say enough good things about Jamie and Josh and trying to get uh, get all the things done they're able to do. Um, I think that's my report. Do you recall what broke on the um, harvester? Uh, we've had two different things break on oh, the harvester. Okay. Um, we had hydraulics one time and electrical but I don't remember what it was on the electrical. But we've had problems with the hydraulic before. Yeah, it's it's an old harvester. They're not right. They're not new hydraulic pumps, but it's okay. It's old. Right. It's what we got. Yep. And we're happy to have it. Okay. Anything else? Here? Uh, Any questions? One, one other small thing. Um, we used to get these approved. We talked about it last year, but I thought I would just point it out. Uh, we are going to close the parking lot for Merchant Fest again this year. I think it's Mer yeah, Fall Merchant Fest. I said that wrong and had to get corrected once before. But we will go ahead and close the parking lot uh, again this year for Fall Merchant Fest, same as we've done in years past. Mm -hmm. um, but I think that's all I've got. Okay, any comments for Jared? Okay. See none. Uh, committee reports. Um, finance and personnel and economic development. Pretty much saw it on the minutes, and there's some items coming up here on the agenda that we'll be uh, looking into. Um, Wesley, you might want to know. There is signage stuff on there that, that's coming up too. As well, out of that, uh, plan commission. Same thing. We have a couple, couple items coming up here. Some zoning, uh, redoing the zoning chapter and making it a title, and doing some modifications and tabular format and uh, make it easier to read and follow. But uh, also some other changes to some of the, the zoning there. But you'll see those coming up. Karen, did you want to give any um, I don't know, thought on there, updates on yeah, any of the uh, things in the, the park? Excel Energy came out and installed the Eagle's Nest that Dick Bedboard built, and so we also had quite a bit of news on it. TV 13 covered it, TV 18 covered it, it was in the Leader Telegram, it's in Tri County News, and so the whole community is pretty excited about it. Excel is going to come out one more time as soon as we get the camera and the mm -hmm. solar panels and the radio to send the signal into the library where we can watch what's happening in the nest. Very so cool. that was a very successful project. It went well. Yep. Good job. Who Thank you. Ever had a part with that over time? I know it's been kind of on the radar, yeah, cool. but uh, good job getting it over the hurdle, getting it up. Yes. Yep. So good there. All right, moving so, on. Unless anybody else has anything? Gina? No? Okay. Uh, unfinished business, nothing there. So we're going to move on to new business uh, 13A. Uh, request per village code uh, 615 for a variance on the number of allowable dogs. I believe there is a section in the ordinance that talks about two, two dogs. Um, unlike other variances, there, well, there's, there's some in particular variances that will come to the board that are specifically listed in the ordinance. Uh, most of the time the plan commission will, or the zoning board of appeals will uh, see the variances, but there are some like this one that say come to the board and not, not the zoning board of appeals. So that's why this one's coming here first. You want me to read the paragraph? Yes, please. 615A, no person shall keep more than two dogs or more than three cats above the age of five months in an R1, R2, R3, Upon application to the board, a variance may be granted on the number of animals allowed based on such things as location of residence, proximity to neighbors, 
the neighbor's objection, the board shall define the duration of the variance and reserve the right to revoke it if complaints arise. Okay, so this is David and Andrea, yes. is that right? Okay, yes. thanks for coming in. Um, there is a letter, uh, hopefully followed, it's on 13A on your iPads if you haven't had a chance to read that. Um, but the, they're looking at purchasing Betty's, um, so it's the house right yeah. down here on, on 12th, so if you're not familiar with that, there's a sign out there. And, Hi, neighbor. Um, uh, so the request is, uh, thanks for writing a letter, that, that's helpful, but this is for four dogs, right, and yes. instead of two. Um, I did ask um, Renee to, if there was any historical you know, precedence on anything. Uh, do you have anything? Oh, you didn't get the email? Yeah, uh, I don't. Okay. <laughs> I did, but it wasn't popping up. Um, maybe, maybe you just called, okay. Yeah, it's not touched. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. So there are some dates, these go back. There's quite a few, right? Um, allowed for three, allowed for four at night, requested as a fenced yard and dogs are not allowed. Neighbors were in agreement with this. That was one that was approved for four dogs with the understanding that it could be revoked. If Just like Jared talked about, if there was complaints, that was approved for four. That was in 2008 for Zach Milky. Um, in 2009, um, there was one for three, but there was neighbors' complaints about that one. Uh, there was one for Jackson for uh, in 2009 that was approved. Um, so there's a history of approval of you know looking at the the fences and, and knowing like if you know I think if it's up to um, the owners to you know and to keep there from being a uh, problem. And coming up and complaints, I and I think that's anyway from a historical standpoint. And if anybody wants this, I guess we can send that out. From I think maybe we've seen three or four dogs be approved, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, just from, a, from an operational standpoint, assuming you were to grant this variance, what would be the action point? Where would we trigger to say, Yes, we need to do a reevaluation? Because if you have four dogs that people are taking good care of, they're obedient dogs, it's not bothering the neighbors. We have to have a yeah. complaint. Right. Well, we but, right. Complaint. Well, but my, my point is, who are we to tell somebody that, you know, if they've got good dogs, that seems like a fairly logical, mm -hmm. uh, a yeah. reasonable request, right? Yeah. But there's, there's got to be a threshold because, you know, the neighbor can get mad at you because you did something they didn't like and complain. What's the threshold? What are we going to do? Multiple complaints. Multiple complaints from the same neighbor, a com mm. multiple complaints. Uh, Multiple complainants. I mean, if, if we're going if we're going to go down this road, we kind of have what an idea. Nuisance, what is our nuisance? Our nuisance ordinance. We have, you know, so I to me that would fall under the nuisance category. So if, however, considering location, their four dogs are going to be the least of the mm -hmm. villages' issues. Um, <laughs> It's the naked people. I was going to say, they're dogs. Yeah. It's yeah. the naked people. You guys um, would probably have like 10 <laughs> to every yeah, and I, 300. Where are the naked people? Um, so I would say if there's been, if there's been the, the amount of, you know, complaints, you know, with, within the ordinance, that's one thing. Because, you know, if it's because the dogs are loud or whatever, whatever, it would fall under that or, category. Yeah. Or obviously there's an incident, just like any other dog, mm -hmm. if somebody gets bit or something. Mm -hmm. But other mm -hmm. than that, I don't know why. They're small dogs too, it's, I mean, mm -hmm. yeah. they're I, easily I, controllable. I, well, that's <coughs> I don't know, they can get feisty. feisty. Sorry. <laughs> I don't think that we need to specify a certain number of complaints. I think no. that we would have to look at it on an individual basis, because yes. maybe the complaint is that he's a killer dog and he killed a child. You know, mm -hmm. then, right? But maybe it's yeah. just like I just mean from my standpoint because if somebody calls and complains, yeah. I don't want to say put that on the next board meeting that so and so's mad at, so we're going to reevaluate it. It's, yeah. it's substantial. But, but if we have a couple of yes. people calling and complaining, I, I guess I'm just trying to set a realistic expectation so they have some assurity. You know, yes, we have a we have a variance we've been given, but if I, if my neighbor complains one time, it's cut and you guys are out of there. No. I, well, no. and I guess that's kind of my point as well. I want to give Ooh. them some assurance that you know there there's going to be a. Yeah, I, I would hope process. like with any yes. other due That's process, due with process. It, it would probably fall under a nuisance and, and yeah. then the police are going to respond to that yeah. and try to address it. 
and there would be a known thing like there's a variance and then one of the actions would be okay if this is an on in their valid concerns or complaints then you would say well we might have to bump you down from four to two or whatever and go with that action but i guess if you're not knowing your dogs whether you think <laughs> if you're not worried about it then i think you're probably fine right and and, and I think your problems would be probably uh, smell, um, loud barking, you know, and four dogs that bark at each other at, at you know. It's not it, normally uh, the people that are aware who come in and ask for permission. Yeah, that I know. I'm just, just clarifying what, what probably valid complaints would come right. from. But if you, there's no concern on, on the owner's part, David and Andrea, then I think. Yep. You know, that, all that all four of them barking at the moon at four in the morning might be. Mm -hmm. Be an issue. Well, it would be an well, issue for us as well. We'll let you know. Yeah. Yeah. Get in here. Yeah. Do we need a motion to grant? Is that yeah. I'll make that motion to uh, accept the yeah. request. To approve the variance. To, yes, thank you. To approve the variance for 6.1.5 on the number of allowable dogs. And I, would, I would second that, but I think that according to the ordinance, we have to give the duration of variance for as long as David and Andrea Shimmer own the property, yeah, just as well as uh, or the the days that there is mm -hmm. that upon complaints that we have as a board a right to revoke it and mm -hmm. add that into that, that motion. I would okay. amend my motion to say, to add that. Okay, then I okay that, you, you're going to include that, that's included in your motion. Yes. Okay. Assuming the, mm -hmm. the residents understand what yeah. And do you want to put any other, um, there's a mention of um, uh, contingencies, offense, you know, they mentioned offense, you would yeah, want at this point, we were, we were going to look at putting up offense yeah. that way. I guess yeah. I would, so cons how do you want me to add all that? So, because their letter says we plan on So when you offense. do variances, there are any additional conditions that you want to put on it? And then any other other conditions. Well, that would be timeline and any other actions that you might want to take. With that is the life of the dog in consideration, um, or just the owner? Is it as long as the owner owns it. So if these dogs pass on and they can have four dogs habitually, I think that we should say four dogs. You just say four dogs. That you would be allowed up to four dogs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, that's, uh, sometimes those are done for life of the uh, dog. You know, we'll let you do it, but one that's of the true. dogs. Right. Passes. There was basically there some talking about a sunset. Yeah, uh, that when one of your dog passes, then you go mechanism. to the mechanism, you know, yeah. but that's, we don't have to. I'm just curious if that was yeah. what was I thought, thought about Do you need it, me to re restate yes. the motion? <laughs> yeah, just, those are important details. So just, let's just try to get it right. And, mm -hmm. um, so does Renee Reported have that no issues. Board allowed with the understanding that so this was in 2011. Diane, Brian, three dogs. Board allowed with the understanding that if one of the dogs passes away, it cannot be replaced. So that's all of them, or just that one? No. So that would go to three to two. So your variance is in place as long as the dogs were a part of here. But once you know, so like this situation, that's we acknowledge you have a part of your family as four dogs, but. God forbid, you know, one passes away soon, yes. then, then it has to be down to three, and, then, and then down to two. Okay. All your dogs are young. Yes, yes, they are. Okay, so my, that's good for you. the motion would say yeah, to approve the variance mm -hmm. on the number of allowable dogs for the time the Schwimmer family lives in the village, and their four dogs are living. Um, and fence. And up. assuming yes, that the a timeline on the fence the for fence. what would a timeline on the fence uh, be okay for you? Six months? Yeah, that should be fine. Because we were going to look what? at it as soon as we moved in. Okay. So, could you say like? Six months for the I spring. Would. Yeah. Because oh. Yeah, maybe. They don't technically close until October on their home. Yeah. Yeah. So next June. June. Next June. Yeah. Because yeah. it's going to be yeah. cold and winter's yeah. going to be yeah. cold. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. So my motion would okay. include their contingency to have the fence. Um, up or in progress by Thanks, June Andrea. of 2023. Mm -hmm. That's good. Okay, that sounds like a great motion. Thank you. <laughs> and the rest of it about, you know, if you sell the house, that it doesn't go with the house to the next person. Yeah. Yes, I said that Got their that family specifically, yep. as, as, as long, long as, as they're they residents in the yeah. village. And then there we can, it's subject to be uh, revoked if there are complaints that the yes. board would like to. So is there a second to that motion then? I second. Oh, yeah. Okay. 
There's a fresh second now. So the board, there's a motion and second. The board has a motion now. Is there any comments or questions on on the motion? Bernie, do you want to read it back? Uh, have you, yes, please read it back. You don't want to read it back. <laughs> <laughs> it is recorded. Yeah. 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 Okay. Anything else? All right. Is it oh. okay if we leave the AF car to go yeah. tonight? Yep. No, you're yes, thanks for coming in. <laughs> Thank you for being here. But there is yeah, no popcorn. And there's no movie. <laughs> 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 it was nice to meet you all. Bye, guys. Thank you. Nice Have a good evening. Have a good one, y'all. Welcome to our village. All, all, in, favor, all in favor of approving the variance, say aye. 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 All opposed, nay. All right, the ayes have it. The variance passes. Okay, uh, on Matt's here, we've got a 13B pay request for. Keller Park ball field, and that was the four items I think you saw on there, so Matt. Yeah, I just Sometimes. figured I'd give an update. The first one was just two little things. There should be a, is it now on there? It is on there, yeah. but can you have him sign that when he's here? Because that's oh, because we have it, that's yeah. okay. 13B? Mm -hmm. 13B? Oh, yeah. Got it. <coughs> I knew it was one of them. And Thank you. That was, the excavator didn't listen to me and get his stuff done fast enough, so that I asked Renee like about an hour and a half ago to add it. I, I only did that, usually I don't do that, but he kind of squeezed us in and went out of his way to do stuff, so he also, it was less than what I thought, so I figured that was fair. Um, uh, so just to give you an update of where we're at, um, currently the outfield is about 95% 90, complete. The irrigation is going in right now um, for the outfield. That's great. Oh, um, and then that should actually be activated possibly tomorrow afternoon. Uh, we did turn up the well pressure, <laughs> and I got to thank you from Jared on that. It was really low, apparently. Was it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um, oh, on that note, I don't. Yesterday, the water fountain. There's dirt coming out of it. I filled up my cup and I took a drink and I'm like, you changed my water pressure. Now I got to see what's coming out. Something. I don't know. But there's just dirt coming out of the water fountain. Okay. Pushing from the bottom. I don't know. Uh, we don't give up using that much water. <laughs> um, and then the infield is the. We've got six loads, two are on this draw. Mm. Um, we have four loads that are not on this draw yet, um, which is still less than half our budget so far. Uh, that was reduced in the sense that we, the material that's there is okay. It's actually really good material. It's just not what we wanted out of a finish. Mm -hmm. We wanted the more red granular finish to keep the dust down, which is also gonna go on the old field. Um, I don't know if anybody's noticed, but we I did cut the subcut the old field mm -hmm. wasn't going to do it right away but we needed more black dirt so mm -hmm. i took the black dirt out of there mm -hmm. um, and then we were pushing the old lime the limestone infield out to be a sub base for the new coating so the, it won't be as hard it'll shed water better it'll be cleaner um, not if we drag it it's not so dusty mm -hmm. and then <clears throat> So to go over quickly this, I mean, you guys can see that. There's a land surveying, which was a couple times we staked out just for perimeter staking. And then after excavation, we did it again. Uh, so we knew that we had the right positioning. Uh, advanced engineering with their design fees um, from the initial, from the very initial through current. Uh, Brian Rock is the company that is set up with the village right now for the infield gravel. Um, our top coating will be coming from a different company in Wapaka. It's the only place that we've found that has it. Um, Andrew Supply, which is also, he's a teacher at the school, um, trying to keep more things local. They did supply the grass seed. And some of the, uh, on the page, um, I guess more importantly than, I mean, I know it's important to show the um, schedule, you know, for the <clears throat> invoicing. But if you go to the third page, um, I'm making three different spreadsheets, and I don't know if everybody can see it yet or not, but I'm sure at some point you will. So there's one with the, the 
the Fall Creek Youth Field and it's right it's for the village. So currently that's where like all the tallies and the invoices are going. We have our, with the foundation, which is the donation stuff, level stuff. So once we start drawing out of that, we that will be noted on here so everybody can see what where everything is coming from. Uh, then the third page is the in-kind donations. And that's where I've been keeping track of, like even advanced engineering is giving us discounts. So you'll see further each invoices that gave us a discount on everything. Um, then you got Andrew's supply, they were able to get $250 off the seed. So all this stuff adds up. I'm just I'm trying to do it so that you can see the total value of the construction project when we're done. And then also everybody, I mean, whether people want to write thank yous or do whatever for our recognition purposes at the field and individually if people want to use these companies or mm -hmm. thank them or whatever. Um, some of the individuals that have been above and beyond some single volunteer things is just... Uh, Matt Barto. Yeah, me. Not coming in nine days, but uh, <laughs> yeah. um, And then the Justin Thur has been there with his skidster and so his, I, like I got, I just have a, a rate that's assessed for that. So um, that's kind of a value that he's put towards us so far as of yesterday. Um, some people bring like their four wheelers and drags and stuff. So I'm just trying to keep track of that because otherwise someone would have to pay an excavating company, you know, mm -hmm. more than this. Um, but just, it's a community involvement thing too. Mm -hmm. uh, American Materials, the donation of the concrete, uh, Stone Pro with the donation of the, all the flat work, labor, forming, setting, and stripping. Uh, Feral Equipment did donate all the rebar, drain tile, and sealer. I don't know the exact amount yet, that's why it's blank. But that'll be updated as awesome. time goes on. Irrigator with their irrigation system. And then uh, future stuff is, some of the stuff is not gonna show up as a, um, like the block. It's how these companies are doing the county materials is, we have to run it through Stone Pro's account. They're gonna set up a, uh, just a sub account like they usually do. But then once it's delivered, then it goes to their foundation and then they issue the foundation $5,000 check, which then covers all but $1,600 of the block and more. Mm -hmm. So they almost paid for all of it. So that probably won't reflect in here as in kind because it was how I had to do it. It'll probably show as a payment in through the foundation. Mm -hmm. So um, so those are that's just their, formalities that they do so but that's all I got for now uh, previous to this there was just a couple invoices for engineering and uh, I think it was just the staking the initial sir right staking I think Which um, are now covered yep so hopefully if things go as progressed here we'll get the top coating in for the infields the outfield should be done and completed the fencing is they have ordered the fencing HS is doing it down here. He's donating, he's reducing his rate by 7,500 bucks or as a donation. Oh. Um, so that should, I don't know exactly his timeline to start. Uh, once we do seed, I will put, the, we have stakes around it now. I may put a few more. I have an orange string line that I'll put some tie on some caution, caution tape. That's just kind of the guideline for the warning track that we made. Mm -hmm. um, and then I'll put caution tape on the top of it. It's just in, the intent is that nobody walks on it, hopefully. Because uh, once, because of how, the, the time of season is good right now to seed, but we do need to keep it watered so it'll be wet. Um, and that's, there's a decent amount of black dirt out there, so it, if you, it, it'll get pretty muddy until we get all enough roots. Yeah. 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 So, um, so that's the plan is Friday we'll be seeding it. Yeah. Then it's supposed to rain Saturday and we'll keep it. Keep it moist and hope for the, the, the winter doesn't come like in a month. <laughs> <laughs> it is but, Wisconsin. Well, besides that, it's going well. Um, the poles were down. I helped Jared bring them over to the, the plant to keep the old ones that were there. Um, and then, oh, thanks for helping us out here and there with the end loader or whatever. So, my problem. Um, we've had some. We had some Phil come early and so mm -hmm. put down some pads, but the one guy was not being very nice and he dumped it right on the road and 
We didn't want to wait 15 minutes until I got there. So I was <laughs> I pushed that one over with the skidster, but then we had to, two votes came and we needed a, we weren't ready for it yet. They came faster than I thought and I didn't want to say no because then if I say no, then they. Right. So, uh, so now we may have to figure out a way to, if we do the, the old field, a better, I don't know, we'll have to put our heads together and figure out where that top coating gravel stuff can go. If we can uh, pull a fence, if we can open it, link the fence where you put it on that corner, the one parking lot, and push it in that way. Yeah. Okay. I don't know how hard that'll be and I haven't looked, but I just think. Yeah. Just that, to way, be that way we don't put ruts through everything. Yeah. Yeah. And whatever ruts are there now, we've been fixing some of them. We will touch up. I don't know if it's going to be this fall or the spring. It just depends on how quickly the dugouts, dugouts should be started. I'm guessing next week, uh, the block, um, and then the fencing. I'm not sure yet. Um, it's not. I, I just I want to get it done this year, but I'm not pushing them you know, on the schedule wise um, because of the warning track that we made. It's not going to impede on the infield because we have a we we're shooting for a five foot warning track, but I made the width of my skidster bucket because I wasn't going to go sideways. So it's going to be a six foot warning track. <laughs> Um, but otherwise, it's, it's going all right. We haven't had, no, had a guy complain to me that I was taking up his golfing practice area. Too. <laughs> I just said, well, there's 250 kids that will be happier than you golfing. Yeah. Sorry. Is it you? Dick's yeah. Tibbetts is open nine miles down the road. Yeah, Dick's yeah. Tibbetts. That's, yeah, right, right. that's what the irrigator guy said. He said, you can't pay 10 bucks to go on golf with Dick's Tibbetts. Yeah, look at the balls. Yeah. yeah, but then he was hitting the balls over the railroad tracks into the whoever's field is over there. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, it was his driver. I was like, <laughs> the dude. There's like 10 of them. I'm like, okay. Whatever. Teach oh. their own, I guess. Yes. It's not Driving. me. I'd be putting the window out in Tim's house. I'd be trying to get over there. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I don't I know. Can if, use if you guys went out there, we did have to create a swale up against that hill, and then it goes around the corner. So it did make where the those the porta potty or the pot bathrooms back there. So there's an incline. In you know, it's it was it's a little more than what I thought they said they were gonna do, but I may be able to shape that a little bit less. Um, with some of the black dirt that we have left, so we'll are finish. you saying there's an incline? The the bathrooms are sunk down. Yeah. We're talking about the no. So like the bathrooms. So originally the bathrooms were like this, and the and the dirt kind of just went like right. that, and then it went back up. So then now we filled that all right. the way to the fence line, uh, but to to leave this here, we were higher than what this was. So they had to they had to take it so that the water would come off that hill from the railroad tracks and work its way down and around. Uh, and you're talking about the kitchen bathrooms. No, no, no not the, no, the, the porta port 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 Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, gotcha. Yeah. So it it actually worked. We had that decent rain, and there was no standing water anywhere. Um, we did. So it was good rain. Yeah. So it, uh, that it. The path, it, it, path, it worked even though I blocked half of it because I made a ramp for the semi. So I'll clean that back out and it'll be fine. Okay. Oh. Um, just a question if, on the foundation stuff is, uh, is that kind of be done with the fundraising part for now? And do they have a time where they got to close out anything from the foundation? No, it's just, it just gets transferred over. We're, I still got to get some signatures from the two part people, uh, Amelia and Dawn. And get everything, the fund, then the funds from the foundation will get transferred into an escrow account at All Title, mm -hmm. and then basically the same format that you guys see from the draw request, we can just go to them. The same, the, the only difference is, is that Don would probably be a, the third signer instead of Jared as reviewing it, I guess, and then then the funds get released from All Title to directly to the contractors, okay. and then then. The, I put it in the spreadsheet that I can give you guys once a month or whatever that we do, so yeah, <clears throat> so that you see where you're seeing where funds are coming from. Mm -hmm. Can we add my name to that title? We talked mm -hmm. about that before on those draw requests. Even All though. going to there. Yeah. yeah, that way we can make sure that we're just from an accountability standpoint yeah. on our uh, requests on that. We I know we talked about that once before. Yeah, but let's let's keep the village in the loop on those so that we make sure we're yeah. 
That's fine. When we go to capitalize them, we'll want to be able to say. To know all those values. Yep. 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 That's why I was doing the in kind yep. stuff too. So you know. Yep. So yeah, so once we get that finalized through all title, they're donating that service to us. So that's um, just awesome. And then it's I just to be honest with you, since we started, I haven't had much time to go over and get the paperwork. <laughs> so, but well, it's more about getting the seat in as of right now, so we can play on it next year. Yeah, I just I think I was maybe more asking just to see what the timeline was and. Jared we'll we'll probably like continue was... to fundraise because there's other entities that we can incorporate uh -huh. still. Um, like the batting cage scenario, we're thinking about putting that behind the current field now where a couple of those trees got to come down. Mm -hmm. So that's probably going to be something we have to do next year instead of this year. Yeah. Just because of the, I don't know, oh, not everybody knows. I guess, so I was able to purchase a slightly used batting cage that was bigger than what we intended. Uh, we wanted to have either a double or two singles, mm -hmm. and I was able to get a triple cage that's 50 by 50 for $700. Mm -hmm. So wow. um, it's all the cables that come along pieces, everything. It was, um, as far as I know, it's in a huge pile and a pallet in my shop. <coughs> so I'm hoping it's all there. With instructions. Yeah. No instructions. <laughs> it's, it's literally like a rat's nest. Yes. It's horrible. The, and it got tipped over when I tried to take it out of my truck. And, yeah. <laughs> so, but, so it'll work its way this way at some point in time when we're ready for it. But, um, but that'll probably be in a different meeting. We'll figure out that size and location and whatever. And, um, but because talking with Jared, a couple of them bigger trees got to come down back there anyway. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. Yep. And then uh, that that's a that, the other reason why we picked that spot is because the it, now we're not taking up any space on the two yeah. sides of the field where we were in between and by the parking lot. Probably better be careful talking too much about this. It's not on the agenda. <clears throat> um, we have a draw request, not necessarily. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> But yeah, there's some, what, but we're getting more loosely and loosely related. Yeah. Well, it, it, I guess the point I was getting at is that if the the tent from Lions Club and everything else now that leaves between the two fields wide open for that. Okay. So. All right. Thanks all for the update Thank related you. to the draw request. Thanks, man. Yep. yep. Thank you. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you, man. Yep. We'll see you later. See ya. Anything? Else, any other comments or questions on the draw request? Otherwise, we'd just be looking for. A, Motion in a second. Motion to pay those. I think there's a motion. Is there a second? I'll second. Motion to second to mm -hmm. approve, I guess, the mm -hmm. pay request for yep. uh, Keller Park ball field. Any other comments or questions? All right, we'll do a roll call vote. Heard. Yes. 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 Thank you. Okay, 13C. I'm, some of you maybe already have seen this. Uh, well, Chester has. Karen probably has, but uh, yeah, that. It, so this has came to the Planning Commission a couple times. Um, there was. So there's old Chapter 268, which is the the zoning chapter. Planning Commission per, per ordinance, and it may be even states, I can't remember, is in charge of the zoning chapter. So the first up, if there's updates, uh, it first goes to the Planning Commission. Uh, they look at it, uh, decide whether to approve it and forward it on to the board or not, or not approve it. Um, uh, they saw it one time, uh, requested to get some updates to it, and then wanted to have it come back to them again. So we had a first public hearing was the first time, and then we had a se second public hearing again with that. Um, but the, this has been to the Planning Commission twice. Uh, so you'll see, uh, I guess when I was doing some research into different zoning and what it looked like, I'd noticed Hallie had a, a, a nice format and had mentioned it to Renee and Jared and they, saw the tabular format and did a really good job of uh, taking that and running with that. And so you'll see there is a new, f that new tabular table format is in that 
in that t new title 17 so that was a significant update there um, let me think that so that's lists out conditional uses permitted uses in, in one table and the other one is deals I, I guess with more geometrical setbacks you know dimension sort of things but there's two different tables um, take a look at those uh, most of the other sections were I would say try to you know the other text was copy paste in you know get it into the new format aside from adding twin homes and making some updates to the high density R1 mm -hmm. and then dealing with basements required or not I think those were the three big updates other than the tabular formats. Hopefully the, the tabular formats were and and then signs too was sort of an addition on the second the second read. The the sign updates were not part of the the first uh, time through the plan commission, but the zoning board of appeals had the recommendation, the special mm -hmm. Committee, downtown district had some recommendation on signs, and those were fed in on the second um, time through plan commission. So you'd see those as well. Um, and I think Renee left. You mentioned those were going to be highlighted, right? And you know, right. just the 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 tabular entries. Most of those were non modified. Hopefully, just copy paste and put into the format. But there were some. Just note that there were some conditional uses that were changed. Uh, we tried to, uh, as you got it into the table format, you sort of had these epiphanies like, oh boy, <laughs> that's a lot of the same stuff, you know. And so there, there was an effort to combine some things and to make some consistency on conditional uses and permitted uses. So there were some things that were permitted that were changed to conditional to be consistent across the zones. Um, Maybe Jared can talk to me through more specifics on those ones. Oh, if anybody they, has questions, yeah, I'm happy question. to. Yeah. yeah. The, um, the, so I the signs, we changed it from 32 square feet to 50. What um, page? What page? Uh, I have it is 16. <laughs> just wanted to know what was the St. Paul sign that 46 I think is what it was so uh, then their, their sign would be approved yeah they actually 50%. they actually didn't want to wait they put it up uh, sh they shrunk their sign they shrunk the sign they shrunk their sign we told I told them that this was coming we told them asked them that we suggested they wait a month, couple months and, but and they, they did they not yeah. okay. but yes this this would have covered this would have covered they, they, their they, request. Yeah, they would they, they would have been within compliance with what they previously requested. Okay. This. That was a question. And then there was one typo, but it was on page thirteen and now the pages maybe are changed since I looked at it before, but because um, I don't see it. But it's the last sentence was rear it should read rear and it read read read. And it was just a typo. No. Uh, it's a, That's um, not one. It was when we were defining, you know, what's a front. The corner lot. Yeah, the corner, corner lot. lots. Yeah. Calling it two front yards. We're saying that, you know, that we were trying to say there's two front yards that we're yep. going to make it. And so it was just a typo. It just said so, and it was describing, and so where would the rear be? And then it said it would be the reed. I, said, mm -hmm. I see it. You I see, see it? it. Oh. I see it. Yeah. I'll fix it. Great. And that was the only two things that I had. I think it's well done. A lot of work to go through and get that retabulated. And mm -hmm. And all those little definition change. I thought you guys did a good job. I can't imagine. Yes, like they did an excellent job. The, uh, table, the tank, the tabular uh, form, where we were writing just paragraphs to say it's allowed it. here, and you can and just make a table and put an X. It's either allowed or it's conditional. I mean, it made it so Sweet. much more user friendly. Yeah, just you did a good idea. so yeah. much more user friendly. Um, I will point out. I think I don't know what the bill was when they did this redoing ordinances probably 15 years ago. I think it was thirty thousand dollars plus or so. Mm -hmm. And we've gotten quotes to just redo our comprehensive plan at ten to fifteen thousand dollars. So there's quite a bit of the update, effort not to redo update. Update, yeah. The so attorney on the attorney side of um, what? Just 
to go back and update, yeah, reformat, and that you could if you're gonna do significant changes, yeah, I guess no, not not attorney fees, just authoring fees. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's anyway. Kudos to the staff. I think they're in the end we'll save thousands of dollars doing some of this effort. And, yeah. Yeah. His brain. Yeah. And your brain. Just nicely yeah. the tabular. So I just want to point that out. We're, as we're going through this and making it more readable and more friendly, it's something we would have had to pay somebody mm -hmm. many thousands of dollars to do. Right. And it can be posted. Yep. Um, yeah. So I think I tried to cover everything off my memory, and hopefully I was. Is there anything I missed on that? No, I, she did a good job. Okay. Sorry. The big thing were the basements, because yep. it was a big deal for this village for a long time. The basement requirement is gone, and then the twin homes, making sure that it's understood that twin homes are different than like a duplex. They're owned by two different people. Exactly. And they have to have, you know, be in, you know, like when you're going to replace a roof, they have to agree. Anyway, it's all written in there. It's all done yep. really well. Yep, and you can see all the C's. Um, if it's yeah, red and changed. underlined in the table, yeah. it's been changed it's from yep. what it was before. It was either missing or just not consistent. Um, so you'll see like the rest homes and nursing homes yep. became conditional use in certain zones, right? That were. You know, it was just plain missing unless it's been struck. If you see it struck and then add it, if it's like R2TH. You see the C's everywhere. Those were just plain added. Whereas you can see like on elderly, where elderly housing. housing where we, yeah. Change it from P to C. Yeah. Yep. Again, seeing it in the table lets you see the gaps in, mm -hmm. in your zones. And okay. I think that was it on that. Uh -huh. um, this was. Uh, was that in here too? The signs besides the square mm -hmm. footage on, let's say, schools, our churches, and residential. Mm -hmm. There were updates for projecting signs. Projecting yes. and temporary signs. Projecting and temporary signs. So, mm -hmm. when we had the special downtown district, um, signs have been kind of a thing, and um, we've we've had an ordinance that said you couldn't project the sign out in our street. The, the state obviously mm -hmm. has its own rules, right? That was the but, state that had that? Yeah. Was that us? But if it was county, it was state has rules. But we also had rules that said you couldn't project. Um, we, that's being removed, um, but limited to four feet. And then I thought it was very appropriate to put in there that the state rules were not in charge of enforcing oh, yeah. that. We were <laughs> backing out. Yep. That somebody, yep. That's their problem. Yep, yep. it is. Yep. And we've caught more crap. Yep. We have caught more complaints about that that we have no control so over. We have no control. Just let them go complain. The yep. Just let them know that, yep. that they may be compliant or not compliant, and that's up to them. But yep. just provide the information. Mm -hmm. Okay, any other questions or comments there? If not, we'll just be looking for the uh, approve the first reading. It will come back again. We'll have another second reading. Come. Make a motion that we approve the first reading of the amendment to the zoning ordinance and repeal chapter 268 zoning and amend and recreate this title 17 zoning. With the nice. minor modifications that you brought up. Right, right. just with the read to rear and then the. Uh, no, that was it. That was okay. just one. So there's a motion. Do I have a second on that one? Yep, okay. yeah. All right, motion is second to approve the first reading of title 17 zoning uh, board. Mm -hmm. Yep. yep. The board has the motion now. Any other comments, questions? The only other comment I would would make is that instead of just throwing the baby out with the bathwater on basements, I wish we had offered some kind of protection to certain areas in town, um, like new construction, for example. Um, if we didn't have bas basements, who would care? But if you have uh, an area I'm trying to think of an area we have right now maybe we don't have any left where where you have like uh, six or eight houses and you've got a ninth open lot and they all had to put in basements and now we've changed it so this ninth uh, then doesn't have to 
put in a basement, like uh, maybe Crystal Creek, for example. Yeah, good example. And so instead of just uh, throwing everything out and saying, ah, free for all, no basement, uh, maybe some limited targeting of, does, does that make, I, yeah, I, I don't know that I'm making purpose, sense. The purpose map would be what? To, just because the other people in Crystal Creek I think it, have it, it, it or just because? It's uh, two, uh, maybe, maybe not my generation, but certainly to, for, uh, for example, Karen Strasberg, and one of the reasons she was adamant about it is property values. If I, if I have a basement and there's six of us that have a basement and the seventh house over here, well, we, no basement. There, there certainly is a, there certainly is a property value uh, component to it. But if you're gonna make a change at some point, you have to actually make the you change. You gotta yep. draw a line. Well, draw like line I said, like I said. You want a basement? Have I'm, I'm, no. f I'm for no. floating, you, you know, uh, non-basement houses but but uh am, are we are we just i, I appreciate the comment i guess yeah. too i understand where you're coming from yeah it's just I a comment but, yeah I, um, i'm not against what we have yeah it's and, just and a you, comment. are there ways to do that sure um from i don't remember where it is and i can try and find articles but those things like that that get put in they'll just say your zoning's broken it was what they say. You have bad zoning. If okay. you, because if you start doing these island zoning things, mm -hmm. you're just not being consistent. Yeah. And it's so it's, the places will do it, but they just say it really starts to trend that right. uh, you, you, you would rather not do that with, with zoning, right? Where you're trying to make specific areas different. In, yes. You know what? So, um, but yeah, I, I can understand there might be concerns there on in certain areas. Mm -hmm. um, Crystal Creek probably being the one. Probably, probably the only one we have left at this point. So probably. Yeah. Who knows, maybe it'll make it more attractive yep. for somebody maybe to build we'll it, fill it because now they don't have to have the basement. Right. Mm -hmm. They can, they can mm -hmm. put in something without. So. Yeah, and I think it was of noteworthy too that we could not find another municipality that required basements. But so stretched that. I, I, right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so we have a motion in a second. Anything other comments on this first reading? All right, well, we don't need a roll call on first reading. All in favor of this first reading being approved, say aye. 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 All opposed, nay. And ayes have it. Okay. Thanks again for all the work on that. Uh, reading. Of amendments to ordinance related to health and sanitation, uh, repealing chapter 125, outdoor burning, 148, health and sanitation, 161, junk, 194, nuisance, 223, garbage, and so forth, and then combining them all to title seven, health and sanitation. Again, there's a lot more that happened here um, with this, but it was a good opportunity to take sections and reformat them. Um, what did come out of that special committee for downtown district was, um, we, if you'll see it in the minutes, there were a couple uh, a breakdowns and assignments for people, for that committee's, that subcommittee to do some research. And one of them was on the trash cans and ordinances and how Eau Claire Health Department had guidelines for you know trash cans and yeah, that all kind of fed into, hey, there's probably some updates we can do for where you can put trash cans and, and so forth. Um, Does that so change that's any of our, because I don't even see where, did it change location of ours or anything like that? It says you can't store them in your front yard and that you have to pull them in off the public right away within oh, the garage. Okay. So you can't leave them on the sidewalk indefinitely. This red isn't standing out to me as much as. Okay, gotcha. It's almost a burgundy. Mm -hmm. It really doesn't stand up that great how they pitch it, does it? It's kind of burgundy, yeah. 
put that lighter shade of red next time so it pumps. So chapter 125, for example, burning, outdoor burning and recreating, it, uh, we're um, folding it into Title Seven. Yeah. Yeah. There weren't but any changes. It's just re. We're just reformatting it. Right. Yeah. The only under change one was really was the trash cans right. that you got to bring them back out, and take them. Oh. Yeah. Within you know, 24 take, hours or something like that. Is that 24 mm -hmm. hours? I always thought that's what it was. Yeah, you know, from the right away. Yeah, I thought it was too till I went to write somebody a uh, letter saying, "Hey, for village ordinance, we need to move. You need to move your uh, trash cans." And then I went. Oh, it, it's not. I, I couldn't find. I couldn't find the ordinance no. to sign. <laughs> yeah. We just always did. I make a motion that we approve the first reading of the repealing Chapter 125 Outdoor Burning, Chapter 148 Health and Sanitation, Chapter 161 Junk Dealers, Chapter 184 Nuisances, Chapter 223 Garbage and Recycling, Chapter 238 Trees, Chapter 240 56 Weeds, Yards and Lawns, and amend and recreate them as Title 7 Health and Sanitation. Second. Did we say 24 hours on the garbage can? Yep. Yes. It can be sticky sometimes because of our garbage hauler. Because if there is a, uh, if there is a, um, what do you call it, a holiday? Well, I think it's 24 hours <laughs> it's from when it's picked up. When it's from right? when oh, it's picked up. Okay. Yeah, it's when it's picked up. Because be half the village will put theirs out on Friday when it's a Saturday. It's after the, <laughs> the empty trash can. Yeah. Is there exceptions when they don't pick up your garbage? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's, that has happened. Yeah, I was going to say, I happen to know a guy who never gets his garbage picked up. Yeah. Behind my building, I've called him at least seven different times. He forgot me again. He forgot me again. Oh, it's been two months. We'll call it the sewer plant. You had a motion and a second. Yeah, so we have a motion and a second. Any comments or questions on this first reading? Okay, all in favor of approving this first reading, say aye. 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 All opposed, nay. All right, nice have it. Bartender license application. Okay, we have a, a stack here. Um, why is there so many? Ticket changes or reopening, I guess. Uh, okay. We'll go like this. Okay. For ticket chasers, I'm just going to go through these. Um, I don't, uh, I'm going to lump them that way and just say these are all for. Chicken chasers don't chief. Just look and see. Do you know of any of that um, that chief said anything special about? Um, I see the names. I don't see that there's going to be any problem. Okay, so we have Kellen Haynes, uh, Jenna Haynes, Kylie Aldridge, Sheridan M Morrow. And Matthew Nall, all for chicken chasers. Okay. Uh, we have a couple here for gizmos. Uh, Chief approved on, on these two. Alaya Daniels and Caroline. And then one here for Akron LLC, which should be the corner store, right? Mm -hmm. Eric Blue uh, and Chief approved this one as well. So can I get a motion to motion approve? To approve. Motion and second to approve the bartender license applications. Any comments, questions? All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed nay. Okay. Um, appointments. We have Zoning Board of Appeals, uh, one spot there for an alternate. Um, did 
you have somebody to call? No. No. You? Oh, oh, that came in and asked. Yeah. Uh, Vern Main. Vern Main, okay. What he said he, he was okay. just wondering if anything was open. He said he was going to contact you. Okay. So I haven't heard from Vern Main. I guess I will. Um, maybe we can. Maybe we can do a temporary the appointment. Board. What's that? I think I'm actually on the zoning board. Are you yes. right? Yep. <laughs> yep. So Vern wants to be on it. Yep. We can, so put, it on we can put it on next month's agenda too yeah. if you want to talk so to him first. I'm I'm gonna talk to Vern and see about yeah, him sitting yeah. on that. And if there's anything I think he was looking for interest in anything else too. So okay. So we'll bring that back up. That's good. <clears throat> and I just kept it on there too because I didn't want to draw it. The library, I believe, is going to will be coming up mm -hmm. with some appointments too. I think we're looking for somebody from the school, uh, the school representative for the, yeah, the library jealous. board. So we'll keep that in. That'll come up on appointments for next month again too. So we'll just keep that out there until those two are filled. <coughs> Has to be an employee of the school. I don't. I don't think there's it's any the requirements. It's the superintendent's uh, spot. Joe, Joe's basically oh. got to say. I think he can pick somebody. It doesn't have to be employee. It could be a family member, or a school, or just anybody he feels like is going to represent the school. Gotcha. So, yeah. Okay. So I believe there's been some contact you. with Joe to see if he he has any idea. Sure. And, right. right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, so 13G is moved to convene into closed session for Wisconsin Statute 1985-1E, delivering or negotiating the purchase of public properties, investing in public funds, or conducting other specified public business when other competitive or bargaining reasons require a closed session. So I'll just need a motion and second. Um, and I'll make a motion to convene into closed session for that Wisconsin State Statute. Second. Motion second. Board has a motion there. Any comments or questions? All right. Roll call vote. In state what? And we will come back into open session when we're done here. So. Yes. 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 Ferguson. Yes. Yes. Okay. Seven nineteen. Move into closed session. Back in. Okay. It is. 7:43. We're coming. We just came out of closed session. Back into open session. Uh, I think we're going to move down to 14A. Consider purchase and sale agreement, real estate option agreement, and developer development agreement. I'll make the motion to approve the purchase and sale agreement, real estate option agreement, and develop development agreement per. Discussed in closed session. Okay. No second. Yeah, motion second. Any, anybody else have any comments or questions on that? No. Nope. We want to add uh, do a, add that piece to it as discussed. The yeah, she did. She did. Yeah, she did. Yeah, yeah. Yes, she she just did. discussed them. Yeah. Oh, you got it. Yeah. Including the amount. Including. Yeah. 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 It wasn't clear. Yeah. All right. We'll do roll call vote. Ramp. Yes. Ferguson. Yes. Heard. Yes. Cox. Yes. Mitchell. Yes. All right. The motion passes. On to 15 possible assignment to committee A broadband research and funding opportunities. Uh -huh. um, so we had Dean Mischke uh -huh. yeah, was in here talking before. Um, I think nothing imminent yet, but we said that we would get to committee for, for him and get work on. Um, Karen had uh, expressed some interest in that. I, I called Karen and said, hey, I think it, it, it seems right in the finance and personnel and economic, economic development, just because we might be putting money to it too, and we're looking to develop the community and broadband would be a big part of that. I did tell her, you know, I um, understood her desire to help and she could still do that. It just, I think I want to, I don't want to do assignments per individuals. Yeah. We need to do it Have you committees. done a lot of work on it already? I've done a ton of work on it. Yeah. Yeah. I've so done a huge amount of work on it. We'll still leverage all that. It just, so yeah. again, I don't want to get in the habit of, yeah, I don't want to get in the habit of assigning to individuals to you know, assign to committees. 
put so. in all the input. Great. So I've met with Dean already for two hours, and so I mean, we're, I'm deep into it. Yeah, let's not reinvent the wheel. Yeah, yeah. so I'm just and it's complicated. assigning it to the finance and personnel and economic development committee, but just let Karen know that we, we still Sweet. would be leveraging all she knows. Today, so. mm -hmm. We'll I think it. there was some lack of clarity. I just wanted to get back to the board. So, is the board okay with that yep. assignment? Okay. All right, and that's it. So, at that point, we're adjourned. Thank you very much. Thank you.